Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another day of the video diary. And how's it going today? Today, <clears throat> it is half past five in the morning, and I've already rendered and uploaded uh, yesterday's video. Well, uh, yes, yeah, yesterday's video. That's now online. I've also done the description. It's all ready to upload live. Um, I've had my tea, and I've had a wake-up orange, and I'm now trying to experiment with a theory I've had recently. I've been noticing that I'm more willing to work and more productive in the mornings um, as opposed to like really late at night. So like, so say if I'm working between like midnight and three, midnight and three, midnight and four maybe, um, my productivity during that time isn't very good. Uh, however, when I wake up in the morning, I get a lot done. So what I've decided to do is wake up at half past four um, and get a little work done before I hop on a train and go to Lovelace later. Um, so it's half past four, and I'm already working, because I'm mad, mental basically, um, and I thought it'd be really quiet at this time, but people like Denya are awake, <laughs> just randomly tweeting, um, she doesn't even, she doesn't even, um, say anything exciting, what, she's literally got nothing, she's just sat on the internet, just killing time, what, what the hell are you doing, go to bed babe, but yeah, so, that's now all sorted, so I can close that down, goodbye. Uh, and I'm now loading uh, up some Java to do, so I can write a report on a train. This is the plan. Stan, and it's actually a pitch to get to, because it's really annoying. Um, but the plan is, if I can implement this as much as possible, then I'll be able to talk about it on the train without talking on my ass. I do like talking on my ass. It's good fun, but it's probably not best. So, uh, coursework, semester two. And the class diagram, yeah, there she is, what a bad boy, and then just swap, swap it away, hello, oh, the Twitter, go away Twitter, man, it's also got to be said, I'm really getting used to this as well, I'm getting used to this and using that, and I put that over there, so that it's out of the way, and then this is more central, because uh, otherwise it's like over there a little bit, and that's there, um, but it's great, you can just like whiz around, Look, so I don't really need this. I don't need my home directory up, so I just like swipe it away. Bring up that. Oh, 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 we're still we're still connected on that. But if we click on that, we'll pull that over there. Bring up Google. Uh, which one? Let's switch on to Google. Oh, there's Firefox. Just just track the video upload. Just just literally just by swiping around. It's great. I love it. Sun's up. Way. It's bright outside. All right. <clears throat> it is quarter to nine, and we're still programming away. God, Java programming is boring. It's so, it's not a challenge. It's just really fucking boring. It's driving me mad. <laughs> and we're off. We're off out. We're going to go to the train station now. We're going to go swing by, potentially get a hot chocolate, because it's a tradition to get a hot chocolate before we go on our journey. Um, <laughs> I'm addicted to you, baby. Uh, and potentially pick up some snacks maybe for the train because I haven't got anything but otherwise today has been a productive morning we've set up work now so that we're ready to go on the train and um, really it's exactly the same as normal I've had the same amount of sleep as normal I just went to bed two hours earlier got up two hours earlier so I should be fine except trains are very draining so we'll see how tired we are at the other end of the day um, but otherwise yeah we've got plenty of what well, we got a decent amount of work done still got some more to do on the train which i wasn't going to be able to avoid at all but we'll see hopefully we'll be able to bash out the um integrated projects on the train that's the plan anyway i'm gonna have a damn good go at it and i do have a table seat as well so i can bust out my laptop and get typing away it's gonna be great um but yeah otherwise had some breakfast had some lunch which is pasta uh got dressed got everything ready and I'm going. It's, to be honest, it doesn't feel like I'm going to Lovelace. You know what I mean? It feels like... I don't think it's hit me yet. I'm really excited, but it just doesn't feel like it's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know, what it, I don't know what I'm expecting to happen. It feels like I'm just going to Bristol or something. But I've got clothes for a couple of days and shit, so... I've got to get to Leeds, man. It's going to be a whale of a time. It just doesn't feel like it's legit happened. It's really strange. <laughs> God damn it. Um, is there anything else that's happened this morning? But yeah. So basically what I've got is I've got two bags, which is what I normally do. 
I used to take one big bag and then put this bag inside the other bag. Um, that was the only difference. Uh, but in fact, I've got two bags this time. Enough t-shirts to last me the weekend. Uh, change of pants and socks, obviously. That's all I need. Pajamas. Um, toiletries. I swear, I feel like I've forgotten something. But I've got my wallet. Got my phones. Got my camera charger, and I've got you. And my laptop. Nothing can go wrong. And my laptop charger. Yep, yep. <laughs> um, so nothing can go wrong. When we're going to Lovely's, and Lovely is a fully functional person. She has like fully functional things, like chargers and things. So I don't even need them, really. I'm just going to help her out. <laughs> uh, panicking. I feel like I've forgotten something now, which is never a good feeling. But yeah. What a misty day though. Summer's ended, I've got my coat back on again. I'm wearing my pointy shoes as well, no oddsies today, unfortunately. Um, because uh, if it rains and shit, I don't want to ruin them. I don't want to ruin my white one. And I can't predict it, and I'm not taking a second pair of shoes. So I just thought I'd take these. They're more formal anyway. I'm not quite used to oddsies yet. When Lovely comes down to me at the end of this month, at the start of next month, then I'll go odds. But until then, no. No, isn't that nice? We're at the train station. I've come all the way over here so I can talk to you because it's quite busy. Uh, we did get hot chocolate, it's tradition, come on. Uh, and I also got some sushi for the train because I saw some sushi and I'm like, hmm, I kind of fancy sushi now. So I am living it up. <laughs> what a fucking posho. Just gonna whap out my sushi. It's gonna be delicious. So, congrats everybody. Train's at one o'clock here. I assume my train is leaving Bristol at half past. It normally does. Platform three. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, and I get up there for five. Just gone five. Five minutes, four minutes past, I think. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be one hell of a day. Lots of traveling. I haven't done trains in a long time. The last time I did trains was when I went up to Surprise Lovely, like three months ago. Well, long distance trains. I've been to Bristol since. Oh, well, then again, I went to Plymouth. Shut up crying. That, apparently, is Salisbury Hill. I've never been up there. Apparently the view is amazing. I've seen like on Charlie's videos before, some stuff from there. But now see exactly where it is. I might have to go up there. Every now and again I see things on the horizon that I want to check out. But I never get around to doing. Because I used to do that back at home. I used to um, go and... Jesus Christ. Here we are. I used to just, when we went out on bike rides and stuff, we'd just look at something on the horizon and go, let's go there. Or if we've been there before, let's race there. And then I'll race Sean there. Um, but yeah. So that's that. I keep meaning to do that. But hey, who's got the time? We'll get used to midweek trains. They're nice and quiet. No one's here. Pick a seat. If you're going on a Sunday, which I'll be going back on a Sunday, it'll be wrapped. Guys, how creepy is that? It's pretty fucking creepy, right? That is terrifying. It's just staring down the platform. I believe that there is my train. But it's gonna pull forward into my platform in a minute. Fucking hell. Anyway, I always like going to the end of train stations and just having a look around. You know? <laughs> just, I like to know my bearings and have a look. Have a looky see, you know. This is platform three. This is everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Look how beautiful it is. It's gonna go up here. <laughs> I like to think that like some official somewhere is watching me on CCTV thinking one, what the hell is he doing talking to a camera and two, holy shit he's going to commit suicide or something by going up here and then like jumping onto the track but I'm only having a little butchers Oh, a swanky building I don't know why, why I'm not bothered because I've been here before <laughs> they can? Well, I've been to Bath before and I'll do it there as well so lol, been to Bath a couple of times, you know once or twice, two or three times why is there a creepy Lego kid there? I honestly don't think I've ever seen anything more terrifying than that before. That is literally horrifying. How creepy it is. Why? Whose idea was that? Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> uh, 
I love this station so much. And I think, even though I've raced 180 miles north, I've beaten lovely here as well. She said she'll be five minutes. Pathetic. Fuck me. Both bags is a better idea than just one. And we're here, and time jump, hello. Um, I left my bag on the train. What a dick. What an absolute dick. I thought the journey was going pretty well for itself. Um, and then, <laughs> as I was walking along, I then looked at my bag and went, God, I feel, I feel light. And then kind of like shrugged my shoulders and went, shit. <laughs> and turned around and ran. And I'd gotten quite a distance. I'd gotten nearly to the steps to get out. I then turned around, ran along the platform. The doors were starting to close on the train. I got on and then everyone's trying to find their seat. And I'm like, I need to get to that. I can see my bag. I need to get to that bag now and this train's gonna leave and I can't let it leave and I'm panicking and I'm like, I'm gonna have to shout and I'm like, excuse me. And it was like the shakiest shout I've ever done. And um, someone got me my bag and passed it to me. I pressed the button to escape the train and it let me escape in the nick of time. <sighs> Jesus, that was stressful, my Lord. But otherwise, that would be lovely, which was great. I actually calm me down a little bit because I was a bit stressed. <laughs> um, and then we swung by, um, Sainsbury's on the way back where we got a couple of things um, for dinners and staff. Came back here, had a lovely tuna and pasta bake, which was absolutely delicious. And then just watched a film. Forgotten what it was. Deja Vu. A film called Deja Vu. It was really good. The first half an hour is bullshit. <laughs> it's so it's so bullshit that you kind of don't want to watch the rest. But when you devote some time to it, it's actually quite a good film. Uh, but otherwise, she's falling asleep on me. And I'm falling asleep. I got up early this morning, so I'm gonna go to bed. We're gonna go to bed. Nobody's taking a make off and stuff right now. Um, tomorrow, I don't know what the plan is. I'll ask in a minute. I'll come back tomorrow to find out. It's a surprise. I'll catch you later.